Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to send an approval reminder notification with an Excel file attached with all the records that are waiting approval for a given approver. As a first step, we need to create a report. This report is a list report to pull the records where the state is requested and the approver is dynamic with the value me. You would need to copy the sysid of the report created because you're going to use it on the step number three. On the second step, we need to create an, a scheduled job and we have to choose the frequency, whether we want it daily, weekly, or monthly. This is scheduled job is going to be in charge of creating the auto schedule report, which is the step number three. When the auto schedule report is created, the configuration default is going to be the name. You can give any name you want. The run as is going to be the approver. The user list, we want to send this to only the approver, so it's going to be the approver. The title and body, you can select whatever you want to send over that notification. We want to omit if there's no records for that given user. And also the output type, we want it to be an Excel file. That's why we have Excel as X. Finally, on the step number four is the email notification triggered by the auto schedule report. Once that auto schedule is created, it would immediately trigger on the system in the back end. And then this notification is going to be sent to each and every approver. So there's going to be an auto schedule report per approver created on the system. And the user will receive an email notification with this Excel sheet attached within the notification with all the pending approval tickets. Now let's take a look into the instance. As you can see, you need to create a report. In this case, I'm just calling pending approval report for the sysapproval approver table with the conditions where the state is requested. The approver is dynamic, selecting me. Here, because I'm running as an administrator, I don't have any pending approvals. But remember, the auto schedule report is going to run based out of the user which we are querying to get um, all those pending approvals. On the second step, we need to create a schedule job. And this one in particular will have the, the following script. You will be able to find this script in the community that I have shared below in the comments of this video. So on the first part, we're actually querying the sysapproval approver table where the state is requested and we're grouping by the approver. So we're, um, we're getting each and every approver and then creating a schedule report. On the schedule report, we, we would need that sysid of that given report we created and then we will start creating the sys auto report record, which is the schedule report with the following settings. It's going to be active. You can give the name you want, whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly, as you wish. The run as is going to be the actual user that we are uh, getting as the approver. And um, on the user list as well, we're getting that same user because we want to send the, this report to the, to the actual approver. Then on the run type is once. So we want to run this auto schedule report just one time only. Then you can set whatever title you need and the body as well. The report is the sysid of that uh, report we just created. We want to omit if there is no records at all and no requested records. And then finally, the output type, which is an Excel file. Once uh, this particular record is inserted, 
it would automatically run that particular auto schedule report. One very important aspect on the report is that make sure that you share this particular report to everyone. So everyone would have the capability to run this report because the auto schedule report is going to leverage this particular report. And as we are seeing, we are configuring to run it as the approver. So every approver by the system is going to run this particular report. So you just want to make sure it is uh, shared or visible to everyone. Finally, when the scheduled job runs, we will see the schedule email of these reports. So in this case, the name is daily auto approval reminder. So I've been running this uh, several times in order to get some records created. And this is how it will start creating these um, out of schedule reports. As you can see, the record exactly has what we have configured in the scheduled job on the, on the script. So everything is there. It's going to run once. Uh, the type is Excel. The subject and message uh, or the body message, you can set it up as you want. Uh, we are providing a standard name on it. And then we are uh, actually referencing the pending approval report. In order to double check that this particular report is running and, and the actual notification has been sent, you can go to emails to the outbox or sent box, whatever you have set up and configure in your instance. And then you can see by looking into the subject of the name of that given notification, you can see those records and to who is, is being sent those notifications. Finally, if you open one of those notifications, you will notice in this case that uh, this particular notification was sent to Bernard Laboy, and we have the bus, the body message, the subject name, or the, the, the subject of that notification, and as well, we have attached that particular Excel file. Once you download the file, just for uh, this example, then we can see all the tickets that are pending approval from Bernard. So this is the spreadsheet that he was going to receive. This is the Excel file with all the ticket numbers that he needs to approve, just as a reminder. And this is how easy you can send a daily, weekly or monthly pending approval report to those approvers that are pending to approve tickets within ServiceNow. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.